wish us welcoming Kanisha Kandel to Ghana. And I love her dance. I mean, she's giving us a wild Ghanaian dance. It's a beautiful moment here at the Kotoka International Airport where CP is welcoming their first um, staff from Barbados into Ghana. She's coming to Ghana for a three month good training as a staff of CP as it ready to open a new um, space in Barbados, a Caribbean country. So this is a live coverage of the 1957 news. We are very much excited and people are around here. We are too much excited for oh, all excitement. You can see everybody pulling out their phones and giving us a beautiful welcome to Kanisha Kanel. Oh, that's so beautiful. A beautiful Ghanaian culture being displayed. Beautiful Ghanaian culture being displayed here. So that's the welcome message. And right now we are giving, we are giving out a beautiful candle cloth to the beautiful Anisha. It's just a beautiful moment here at the Kutukar International Airport. We are enjoying the breeze. People are around taking nice footages. And it's a beautiful moment at the airport here. Kutukar International Airport Live reporting from the Kutukar International Airport. The 1957 news. CP team joining her now. Um, for Hello, welcome. This is Nenio Donple reporting from the Kodoka International Airport. We're here to welcome an amazing woman into Ghana, and I've been joined by head of um, brands for ZP. Why are we here today? So today we are here to introduce our new staff, newly hired from Barbados. We are opening up a branch. We are opening up an entire new company in Barbados, and we are hiring locally. So she's our very first locally acquired staff from Barbados. Um, her name is Kanisha Connell, and we are looking forward, excited to see her here in Ghana for the very first time. This will be her first time in Africa, so we want to give her a good welcome that she will remember for, for the rest of her life. So she's coming to Ghana to do what exactly? So she'll be here for a three-month training. Um, Accra is our hub. We are an international global company, but Accra will always be our hub as we are a Ghanaian, wholly Ghanaian-owned company. And so she'll be here for three months to do a training before we start um, operations in Barbados. Like, let's, let's talk about the future for ZP. I know ZP is a wholly, a wholly Ghanaian-owned company. How, is that, how has it been for you so far as a company that is owned by a Ghanaian? And what is the, how, how the, the, does the future look like for you? Well, obviously, because we're a Ghanaian, wholly Ghanaian-owned company, um, we first sought out to um, help the people in Ghana. So we did this with remittances and with mobile money. Those are the two aspects of our business. And as we move forward, we're looking to work in other countries. So apart from London, where we are working in right now, we are also working in Cote d'Ivoire, we are also working in Zambia, we are also working in Ethiopia. So Barbados is just an addition, and we're excited to move into an unknown territory and to do as well as we are doing in the current territories we are in right now. What are some products or some of the services you render at ZPay? Well, besides the remittances, which is sending money from outside, sending money from outside Ghana into Ghana. We also do mobile money locally. So that means um, the same companies that do allow you to send money to friends and family, allow you to buy airtime on your wallet, allow you to 
Um, any other kind of transactions you'd be able to do on a mobile money wallet, we allow you to do on the ZPay mobile money wallet. I want to put you on the spot. What are your thoughts on eLevy? Unfortunately, I can't comment on that. Oh no, you're just sharing your thoughts with me as like maybe... I really can't comment on that, but um, we're looking forward to see what the government has in store. So. What would be your final words to the people? We're happy to have you here. We're happy to have ZPay in Ghana. Young people managing ZPay. Charlie, this like a young girl, oh, and she's the head of brands for ZPay. That'd be some big position right there. But I mean, these are young people who are doing well for Ghana. And we hope you watching this will try and find a way to also do something for yourself. I mean, what would be your advice to young people? I mean, like the, the rate of unemployment right now is very high in Ghana. Everybody wants someone to employ the person. Should it always be somebody employing you or we should try and do something for ourselves? ourselves that's true. Um, we are a company that's Ghanaian owned and so we know what it means to start from, you know, nothing and build something out of it. So we're, we're really excited about our growth and we're really excited to see the other companies that gain inspiration from what we are doing currently. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me. You would support pictures being taken and it's a beautiful moment. I must say this is a beautiful Ghanaian culture being displayed. Beautiful Ghanaian culture being displayed. Oh, I guess modern Star Wars watching in the mix. Beautiful. I just want to start work party. <laughs> start work party. So that's a beautiful program that was used to welcome Z-Pays, new um, staff who just arrived in Ghana. It's a beautiful moment for here at the Kotoko National Airport. She's been ushered into her vehicle. How do you feel? Oh, you don't see the camera. Okay, cool. So I just spotted ZPay boss, he's not ready to speak for the camera to us. So a beautiful program that was held here to welcome Kanisha Connell into Ghana at ZPay first half from Caribbean country Barbados. Let me just take you through what ZPay does. So ZPay is a wholly Ghanaian owned. Mame Ahuhua Hua, as I said, Neno said, Your name is Econo, Yaya Yaya Mamre, Yaya Yaya Yinchi, and Intino Yanshas will be from Manone, or no ye be beni, and so ne, I am a fair, so be banua barbeshe, said the Ninchi, baby, and then an animal free. I a duo mucapo, I mean, nay, almost a cock or no. It your say, and so no, ye in Chima, ye were has in his yes, you'd miss your baby. Ni a chayama, ni a reya yamamre, a besses and zempenise, who refi ukromuhine a chiria, uira, a jabuasi, or some of that. So that is that is a beautiful um, and colorful event we just witnessed. The troop, the police um, escorts is taking Kanisha Kandel to a hotel right now. And um, we'll just be showing you around what's really happening here at the Kodaka International Airport. Um, so many people gathered around to see the beautiful dance being displayed by beautiful ladies, beautiful Ghanaian ladies. I spotted Starboy Quartz. And that, that is how we love our culture as Ghanaians because, you know, in Ghana, we love to showcase our culture to the world, Africa. In Africa, they show our culture and um, everything we have to Africa and the world at large. And it's been a beautiful event. I'm so glad to be covering this today. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Nene Odompele. I've been bringing you this live from the Kodoka International Airport. I'll catch you on the flip side, but I'll then do remember to subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and support us as we grow.